Stangibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One Good Vibrations at your service once again to describe an antenna very similar to the Ballon dipole that I described uh, just a little while ago. In fact, it'll perform just about in exactly the same way when it comes to what happens on the air with it. It is a half wavelength dipole fed at the center with a 4 to 1 ballon. And it's very important that you have a 4 to 1 ballon here. Note that the feed occurs in only one of the two conductors and your Antenna itself should be a parallel wire line, for example, a uh, common 300 ohm TV ribbon or any impedance of ladder line. The characteristic impedance of this line doesn't make any difference. It doesn't matter. You could even use zip cord for it theoretically, although I wouldn't do that. I would use ladder line or TV ribbon. And you cut it to the physical half wave length uh, according to the formula that you would normally use um, 468 divided by the frequency uh, pardon me I'm yes 468 divided by the frequency in megahertz will give you the length in feet and that's the end-to-end -end length of this antenna fed in one of the conductors only at the center with a 4 to 1 ballon and then you run 75 ohm TV cable which is easy to get at Walmart or uh, conven uh, convenience hardware stores or hardware stores where uh, very brilliant uh, salespeople like to hang out like the one in Deadwood he's a really cool guy I mean he, he, he really knows his stuff Come to Deadwood and get this cable. You know, let's travel across country and spend 3000 bucks just to get your feed line. But 75 ohm uh, television cable with a 4 to 1 ballon will yield almost a perfect match, a perfect 1 to 1 standing wave ratio because the characteristic impedance of a center-fed folded dipole antenna is on the order of... 300 ohms characteristic impedance being symbolized Z sub 0 4 to 1 ballon will transfer that down to 75 ohms we're assuming no reactants or very little reactants and that would require that the antenna be resonant cut to a half wavelength 468 divided by the frequency in megahertz equals the length in feet um, I don't offhand recall the formula in for uh, length in meters, but you can do the conversion. The supports, uh, you can use nylon rope. Um, be sure to short out the ends of your open wire or ladder line or TV ribbon. And uh, with TV ribbon, you can just uh, drill a hole in the, in the dielectric material itself and use nylon cord or strong non-conductive twine to lead to your supports. As with any dipole, it, it'll work best if it's horizontal, fed at the center. It, it definitely has to be fed at the center. The line should run away from the antenna at a 90 degree angle for at least a quarter of a wavelength and preferably more. Ideally the antenna should be over level ground, significant obstructions, even trees and other growths, buildings and such things should not be near the antenna so that it's in the clear. Uh, that'll yield your best results. The thing will still work even if you have something that departs a little ways from perfection. But um, this is an open wire line, or I, I call it a folded dipole. Most hams call it a folded dipole. 
um, half wave fed the center 300 ohm uh, impedance 4 to 1 ballon and it's very important this is a very important essential element here in in the ordinary dipole you might get away without a ballon but here you absolutely must have it um, you could have a remote antenna tuner here as well but those get quite costly for balanced for true balanced output a remote antenna tuner is not a cheap item but um, a four to one ballon is you can get that from almost any uh, online good source online I recommend QST magazine or any of the ham radio magazines for items like that anyway hope you have fun on the air uh, this is a good antenna for the HF bands 80 meters 60 meters 40 meters 30 meters you know the score even all the way up to 10 meters and you can find antennas prefabricated like this although they're usually fed with uh, ribbon rather than coax for uh, television reception on the VHF bands in remote areas you can use it for six meters uh, although for for bands like that I'd recommend antennas that have a little bit of gain because they're the size is more manageable this is an excellent antenna choice though for the 80 or 60 or 40 meter or even the 160 meter bands now, you have to get it up high enough for it to perform well uh, the ideal height for such an antenna is a quarter of a wavelength in free space or more I know that can be hard to attain, but if you can possibly do it, do it. You won't regret it. And with any antenna, uh, you should always disconnect it at the radio when you're not using it and take that coax and screw it into a SO239 that is well grounded. Both the outer shield and the inner conductor should go straight to a ground rod or to a good uh, earth ground not your electrical ground in your house something that'll divert lightning uh, voltages away electrostatic ch charge build up away from your antenna uh, when you're not using it and for crying out loud don't use it anytime there's a thunder shower anywhere in the vicinity um, I don't want you to die for for Christ's sakes <laughs> Stan Jubilisco W1GV saying 73 which means best regards in ham radio jargon and so long which in my native cw language shall now and shall forever after translate to da 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 <laughs>